We got the King of Pentacles, first card, Leo. The Page of Pentacles, reversed. And then we have the Star. And then we have Justice. All right, so y'all just take what resonate and leave out what does not apply to your situation. So there could be somebody that may have been taking care of someone that you felt was non-committal. And um, this could be the younger individual that they feel is the non-committal in individual, um, Leo. But I feel like some of y'all have somebody that is a lot older, right? And um, whether they're a lot older than you or whether that they could be just Maybe they could they could be older than you or another person, right? Because some of y'all, they may be given to a younger individual. Or you may have been given to a younger individual. Just take what resonate. But that person is somebody that they don't have to commit to. So some of y'all could be dealing with somebody. Maybe you could be taking care of a younger woman or a younger man. But this person is someone that, like I said, they're not in a committed relationship with. Some of you guys, they may be in a committed relationship with them. But this is like somebody giving somebody something without asking. You see what I'm saying? There is somebody taking care of another individual. But let's dive deeper in the situation. Wow. Okay. So some of y'all could be dealing with a psychopath. It says abusive, conniving, unpredictable. So the person who got the bread, the money, the moolah, right? That's the person that, that could be dealing with this younger woman or dealing with this younger man. Y'all take take what resonate. Ooh, I don't know why this is here. Okay, I'm gonna pull another card for this side and then I'm gonna clarify. Some of y'all on the other end. Okay, let me wait. I'm gonna wait. <laughs> because this this is a love spread between you and another person. So whether y'all together or separated, okay? So just take what resonate. Let's see what else. Clarify psychopath spirit. Clarify psychopath. Okay. We got judgment. Okay. Clarify established. Clear it into it. This is way too. Now it came out again. Four swords. It's crazy because I've just seen it pop out. Wow. So this is telling me, this is going on behind the scenes, Leo. Your person that you could be currently dealing with, and maybe you're, or you're separated from, Leo, or maybe you've been with this person a while ago. I don't know. Y'all just take what raising it. But this is an older man that could be catering to younger individuals, or a younger woman, or man or woman, right? That they may not be really committed to. And um, some of y'all, they are committed to this person. But I feel like... The person that they give it to, they're not really committed to your person. You see what I'm saying? They, It's like they're just taking care of this person, you know, without even the, the person having to ask or beg. That's the energy that I'm picking up on. But it's because this is somebody that can be um, psychologically abusive, Leo. This is somebody that can be controlling. And it's like somebody is aware of their actions. They are aware of... The simple fact that I'm hearing somebody may have a second person. So somebody is catering to another individual and maybe they have you and the other person. And it's like they are. I don't know why, but this person, I, I don't know why, but I feel like this is somebody that's aware of their psychological abuse. You know, this is somebody who is just very controlling. Like they use their, their money to get what they want from a person. And. And I feel like this could be between the both of y'all. I feel like y'all together. 
I don't know why, but I'm picking up on this energy where y'all together, Leo, or they could be currently with somebody else. But it's telling me that somebody is highly aware. Let me clarify. Let me clarify with a Kipper card because I don't know really if they are you are separated with this person and they are doing this to you, like using their money to go their way, Leo, so you can stay in this connection with them while they cheat, because that could be the case. Um, and some of y'all, y'all not even really full blown with them. You you just dealing with this person, they just give you what you want while because. They, you know, you free and they free, or maybe they are free to do what they want, but they don't want you to do with nobody else but them. So some of y'all could be dealing with somebody like that. Not everybody. The rest of y'all definitely could be in a relationship with somebody like this. And they are highly aware of their psychological manipulate, manipulative, you know, ways towards you, Leo. Yep, y'all live with this person. I just had to clarify because I'm like, is this somebody else or, you know, or is this you? So it's telling me that this is somebody that you are or you you are living with and you're highly aware of everything you're highly aware this person is you know manipulative and but this is what y'all dealing with a psychopath and um but i feel like some of y'all maybe y'all want out of there some of y'all want peace some of y'all are hoping and praying for peace or you're hoping to pray for revenge maybe you could be wanting to get back at them some of y'all could be wanting some form of um i'm here maybe you want to uh, divorce this person especially if you were married to this person but I feel like some of y'all could be trying to pray y'all way to a divorce out of um out of a relation out of a marriage, or you could be trying to pray y'all way up like up like how can I say this of peace? This could be both because y'all have this tie to this person, Leo, the spiritual connection with this person. You are somebody in this connection that is obviously that is authentic, and you are somebody that is, who is equal, right? Like you are somebody of equality. But there could be somebody that's tying their establishment, their status, their money, you know, trying to keep you stuck. Like they tying it to you. Like they're using their money to get what they want from you so you can like so you ain't gotta go, basically. But I just feel like a lot of y'all mentally is fed up. Y'all, y'all need to lay the situation to rest. And I feel like that's what y'all ready for. Some of y'all, if you marry, you ready for a divorce, not everybody, or you just ready for to break this per you know, a breakup. Um and most of y'all want revenge. It's like you want to get out of there and then you want revenge. That's the energy that I'm picking up on. Now, if you cross watch it for Leo, maybe your person, like if you, okay, if you are a Leo, maybe your person could be like a Libra or an Aquarius or Earth sign. Some of y'all could be a Pisces, not everybody, but those are the energies that I'm picking up on. Or you could have Aquarius, Libra, Earth, and Pisces in your astrology chart. But I'm telling y'all, your person only keep you stuck because they have, it's their money, it's their status. That's exactly what I'm picking up on. Some of y'all could be literally tied to a contract with somebody. That's what I'm seeing. Some of y'all tied with the star card and just as y'all tied to a contract with somebody. And it's spiritually and probably physically. You know, because money does play a part in the situation. This person is very secure, Leo. But I feel like at this point, you're getting tired. At this point, I'm hearing money, cars, and clothes can't buy you happiness because you want peace. You want peace. You want to heal. You want to recover from this relationship, Leo. Some of y'all feel like y'all need to just get away from this person and just, like, let it go completely. Because I feel like this situation may drive you crazy. Some of you guys feel like this person is driving you crazy or you feel like the situation itself is insane. You know, because this person is using their money to manipulate you. It's sad to keep you stuck. Yeah, some of y'all are literally getting ready to walk away. Y'all getting ready to pack y'all bags and y'all up out of there, Leo. Literally. Y'all are getting up out of here because y'all have been through this with this person for so long. Journey is like somebody been through a connection and a relationship and put up with their behavior for like a very long time. And I just feel like a lot of y'all just tired. Y'all tired of dealing with this person, Leo, you know, and I'm hearing that you just ready for change. Some of y'all trying to literally pray y'all way up out of there, you know, but I feel like eventually, um, you will leave. Some of y'all may end up leaving while this person at work. Some of y'all gonna end up packing y'all stuff and leaving this person while they at work, Leo. That's crazy. Okay, what else? 
okay i feel like this spread right here y'all together i don't feel like y'all separated but even when you do get separated from this person because some of y'all probably already separated maybe this energy has already passed you know what i'm saying but maybe you still could be wanting revenge some of y'all could be wanting revenge you know and it's telling me that you could be protecting yourself. Like, when you do escape from this person, because I'm seeing some of y'all already escaped. The rest of y'all haven't escaped yet. You didn't leave this person yet. But when you do, if you are somebody who has already left, you want revenge. Some of you guys could be that hurt, you know, because you want revenge. Now, if not, it could just be saying that you just want your peace. You know, you just left because you wanted your peace. You know, you are somebody probably who have, have it, you know, yourself now. Maybe you are secure within your own self. You just feel a lot more safer and secure with yourself, Leo. But it's telling me that some of y'all have already recovered. Because I strongly feel like this energy has already passed. But some of y'all is in it now. This Y'all have already recovered from this person. And you've been doing real good ever since you left. Y'all have been doing great ever since you left. If you packed your stuff, Leo, and you left this person, I feel like y'all been doing great ever since you left. If you haven't, if you've been thinking about it and you've been praying your way up out of it, you will find the strength to walk away, Leo. And just know that everything is gonna be all right. Just know that. Okay, what else? Okay, just wanna pop out too. We got the Queen of Pentacles. Wow. Some of y'all, your person was only loyal to their options. So if they was cheating on you, they were only loyal to their options. They were not loyal to you. Some of y'all, it's like they were loyal to their options and their options wasn't loyal to them. Yes, they may have took care of the household or whatever and maybe even took care of you for some of you guys. It could be both. But you just feel like they just wasn't loyal. You see what I'm saying? It's because, once again, you were dealing with somebody who was very much loyal to their options. They never was loyal to you. It's sad to say. It's, it's sad to say. They cared about their options more than they care about you. You were dealing with a liar. Like I said, a psychopath. The king of swords reverse is somebody who was a liar psychologically manipulative they even was lying to themselves about you know y'all connection and everything we got the hermit reverse yeah you cut this person out and when you cut this person out you got this person in their head we all wow and it's out of their control because you have walked away that's crazy okay what else do we have these cards <laughs> I'm tired of these cards okay what else what else spirit yeah your person definitely goes to their options there was a liar there was a manipulator you know some of you guys person was always gone all the time maybe you even they have been time here days and nights like there have been times that you haven't seen your person like they'll go to work and they probably never came back home like some of y'all were dealing with that type of person some of y'all was dealing with a Virgo I'm seeing Virgo Pisces Aquarius and Libra and um, Earth, another Earth energy. Some of y'all definitely was dealing with a manipulative person. Yeah, they, they, they only they felt like the world was re it revolved about around themselves and you know whoever else they had in their circle, which was their options. But I just felt like with the world card reversed, it may not be over. Something may not be closed out. Or it could just be saying that ever since you chose yourself and started to explore your own options and stopped speaking to this person and got away from them, maybe their life been crumbling. Maybe their life wasn't really up to par. I mean, maybe they, as I'm hearing yo, you alone being in this person's life, Leo, they was able to hold it down because you was, you know, supportive of them. Some of y'all was supportive of them, of their business. And that could be the reason why you were like in a contract with this person. Maybe you both had a business together, but they controlled everything. It could be something like that, you know, but it is telling me that for some of y'all, y'all had like a business thing together, but they just felt like it, they was operating like it was theirs, you know, but it's telling me something is getting ready to crumble. Okay, we got the Magician. We got the Page of Cups reversed. There's too many cards.
This person could be literally thinking about how can they take action towards you, Leo, to manipulate their way back in. But I feel like y'all have grown to fall out of love with this person. Some of y'all probably never was in love, you know. But you know, you just knew that this person wasn't wasn't loyal. Even if it's like maybe at first you was in love when y'all first met, but it's like over time you started to like I wouldn't say resent them. It could be resent you could have started to resent them, or you just didn't like them no more like you used to. But this is somebody that's getting ready to that's getting ready to take action and trying to find a way to get you back. But I strongly feel like you're no longer available emotionally to this person. Like you're not vulnerable to this person's actions or any of that. Because you have already got used to this person. It's like you already know what this person is capable of. And you notice it's somebody that really don't have the best intentions towards you. Yes, you are somebody who is using your intuition and you're staying back, Leo. Regardless of what they're trying to do behind the scenes. And, you know, I just felt like you're taking your feelings out of the situation and you keep it to yourself. You're just, you're listening to your, intu your, yeah, your intuition. Some of the other person was keeping more secrets. That's exactly what I heard. And I feel like they wasn't emotionally available either. They wasn't vulnerable with you. Some of y'all felt very alone in this connection. You felt like you didn't even exist. And that's the energy that I'm picking up on. Because like I said, if you felt like you didn't exist dealing with this person, it's because they were much more loyal to their options than their need, you know, than to this relationship, you know, with you, Leo. That's exactly what I'm seeing. Just know that That's crazy. I feel like they really is coming towards you, but we're going we're gonna to dig deeper and see what else because I'm seeing some form of action. Okay, this could be your energy. I, I'm hearing the spell, whatever little bind y'all had, bond, assets y'all had together, whatever was bonding y'all together, right? Whether this is a mental, emotional connection, sexual connection, spiritual connection, assets, I don't know what was binding y'all together. I feel like the spell... Of you being in that illusion, that illusion, the spell has worn off. Because some of y'all definitely was lying to yourself in that relationship. You wasn't in love with this person. You wasn't. Like I said, if you even if you was, you fell out of love and you just left and you never looked back. Like literally. So I feel like most of y'all, that could be your energy. You know what I'm saying? Because some of y'all, it may take your life to, you know, fall apart in order for you to get back together. You see what I'm saying? But just know that as you fall out of love with this person and pull your energy, your emotions back, you know, I just felt like things are going to get a lot more better, Leo. Yeah, I feel like at this point right now, somebody is not really, you know, making any progress. Some of y'all is their energy also. I feel like it affects both of y'all. Like, when you walked away from this person, Leo, I feel like it affects you and it may have affected them. Yep, I knew it. I was picking up on that energy. Somebody is not doing too good ever since you have walked away because you decided to... Focus, place your energy onto yourself, Leo. I'm hearing no thank you. It's like whatever this person tried to give you or make you, you know, hold on to you for, I'm hearing no thank you. You feel like it's just pointless to, to continue to deal with somebody that treats you like you don't even exist in your connection. Okay, what else? Now, I'm also getting that Leo. Some of y'all are the person on the outside. I know I'm late saying it, but some of y'all are the person on the outside of this connection that was left, um, or, you know, and, and felt like you didn't exist because their priorities was with, they went back to their ex. We're going to put it like that. If they, if you was with them at one point in time, they left you for your ex, I mean, for their ex. You know what I'm saying? It could be something like that, but they still was cheating on the ex. So either or when they stayed with you or went back to their ex, they still was out here in these streets doing what they wanted to do when they wanted to do it. So I'm just picking up on that energy now. So some of y'all that is the case because I just felt like once you realize that you wasn't a priority to this person in their life, you just like forget it. I'm about to just get out of this illusion, you know, take take my feelings out of the situation and I'm going to fall back. Look, as soon as I say fall back, we got vacay, get away, relax, have fun. Wow. Stagnant, yes. This situation may have literally exhausted you, Leo, to the point where some of y'all feel like y'all need a vacation. Some of y'all feel like y'all just need a breath of fresh air, Leo. You feel like you need to just get away, get away, get away, Leo, you know, because 
I just felt like I'm hearing the sun left. Like you was the sun. The sun has left the building, you know, and now the dog stuck. Like the person that you have um walked away from from, they stuck. Because they felt like their their mind games, their manipulations, it didn't work. It didn't keep you stuck. Now they're stuck. Now I'm also getting this energy where if your person was the type to choose their options over you, Leo, just know that they finessed at your person. They finessed it, your person, to the point they have nothing. So that could be the reason why we got the world reversed, where somebody's life is falling apart, you know, ever since you left. Because the options that they placed as more of a priority, they, they finessed your person. They did. So it's telling me, Leo, your person was an illusion. So if whether you was actually committed to this person or not, because some of y'all was. Most of y'all was committed, or so to speak, to them, they, they said y'all was, even if y'all didn't live together. Like, literally, they made y'all seem like y'all was together, but they had other people that they felt was more important that they was taking care of behind the scenes or just giving their time and their energy to behind the scenes, Leo. The same people that they was catering to that they cared so much about is the same people that manipulated your person to the point they had nothing. The dog exhausted. The dog has nothing else. Like, they put them in some form of a dead-end situation. Like, that was uh, that definitely was going to end regardless. You know, because I just felt like that wasn't who they was with for real. You know, the dog, I'm hearing something. It's like when a dog ran out of funds, the um the HOE that they were dealing with, they left them. Because like I said from the beginning, they're not loyal to your person. Your person just freely giving out money, taking them out to eat, you know, buying them stuff freely. Like literally just delusional over these HOEs. You know what I'm saying? But like I said, this is just them. This is somebody who, that's just their personality. They'll give to people outside of a connection that they're really close to more than, you know, they, they will give to the people that's outside of this connection that to, to, to them more than the people that they're really close to. That's what I meant to say. Oh, Lord, please. <laughs> but yes, I feel like that's who they made a priority. Outsiders, they made outsiders a priority, Leo. You know, and those were people that wasn't even loyal to them. They wasn't. They didn't have to beg to give anything, to get anything out of your person. Your person was in some form of, they was delusional, literally. And I think they personally, purposely did that, Leo, to like, kind of like make you feel like he was alone in, in this relationship or in this connection. It was all manipulation, but it backfired because the people that they thought so highly of, they left them. Like I said, they were lying to themselves the whole time. They didn't have feelings for your person. They didn't. We got longing, missing you. Let's talk. So now that they stuck your, in a rut, your person all of a sudden missing you. But where was this energy when you was around? Because to them, you was a doormat. To them, you didn't exist. You see what I'm saying? Now all of a sudden, they stuck in a rut. They they missing you. They missing the happy time. Because I feel like at this point, y'all could be in silence right now. Like y'all don't even know that this person is going through what they're going through with the per people that they have chose over you, Leo. You see what I'm saying? I'm hearing the funds is gone. The funds, the gifts, everything, it ran out. Because I feel like y'all definitely, you was an asset to this person's life. You really was. You probably was the one that was taking care of them. And they were taking, without a commitment. You know what I'm saying? Even with or without a commitment, you were still there for them. Even Some of y'all definitely still was there for them after y'all broke up. You know what I'm saying? I am getting that energy at one point in time when y'all were dealing with them. And you just got fed up and you just left. But it's telling me that what you gave them, they was giving to people that they, that they wasn't even loyal to, that they, they wasn't even in a full-blown commitment with. But the funds ran out. And the business. If y'all had a business together, if it wasn't what you gave them, it was that just simple fact y'all had a business together and they was able to keep it up, Leo, without you because you bailed out on that business. Or it could be both. Some of y'all is both. Look, this person was playing to listen. They, was, they had a double life the whole time, and it was keeping it from you. And that's crazy because I said that this person was keeping a secret. They was keeping some secrets from you. They wasn't really emotionally invested in your relationship. But just just know now they do miss you. They do miss miss you, though. But I just felt like you staying low-key. You're staying away from this person. I feel like you haven't spoke to this person in a very long time, you know, because they stabbed you in the back. This is somebody who is just very manipulative, very deceptive. It's like... The people that love them and show them the utmost love and respect, 
they treat them like dirt. Like, that's the energy that I'm picking up on. Like, the people that's closest to them, they treat them like dirt. But the people that they don't really know like that, that they're not, have, they don't have to commit to, they treat them like royalty. They put them on a pedestal. That's exactly what I'm saying. This is the energy that your person was operating in. It's sad to say. But now they look, now they mad. Now they mad, salty, bitter, angry, petty. You know, they feeling very, listen, they, they bitter right now because they know that you were the soulmate, Leo. But they do hope and pray that you'll take them back, Leo. They really do hope and pray that you'll take them back. And they hope that whatever y'all had together, like I said, if y'all had like assets together, like a business or something or a house or something in each other's name, I don't know. They hope that that situation is not over or they hope that they can repair what it is that has lost, especially if they have it, you know, because some of y'all, maybe you took the business and ran with it. Rest of y'all, you did, you, maybe you are like the head honcho of the business with your name on it. Like you could be like a CEO or whatever. And maybe y'all just have shared, um, like a shared business together or whatever, but you may have been the one that started it, but you may have stopped finishing it because you don't want it with them. And they just hope that they can repair the business that y'all had together or repair the loss that y'all, you know, whatever y'all was going through, they hope that they can repair it because their life is effed up right now. This is like the emperor reverse. They, their life is out of control. You know, it really is because the benefits ran out. The funds ran out. Just like I said, if they the ones that had the business and it was left with them or whatever that y'all had together in each other name, it can be a car. It can be, it could be anything, right? Any asset, right? That situation has fell apart. It fell apart. It, it really did. Plus, whatever you were doing for them, it fell apart. It did not last that long. You see what I'm saying? So, let's pull some love oracle cards and see how this person really feels. You know, because y'all really was dealing with a psychopath. Some of y'all dealing with somebody who was just psychologically and manipulative. Like, they was very manipulative. Y'all dealing with somebody like that. You know, but it's sad to say that they chose outsiders over you. They really did. They put these HOEs on a pedestal and they treat you like dirt. It's sad. And, and like I said, because some of y'all, y'all was together and then y'all, they broke up with you, but you still was able to support them. You still stuck around. But I feel like you just got tired of being treated like a doormat. You just got tired of being treated like you didn't exist, you know, because you probably still had feelings for them at the time when they broke up with you, even though you still stuck around because y'all had things together, you know, but I just felt like no, some of y'all could have just worked with this person. If you didn't actually have business with this person, it could just be saying that you still, even though y'all broke up, y'all still work at the same place. It could be something like that. You know what I'm saying? But then you maybe you left the place and, you know, found you another job. Y'all just take what resonates. But I'm just giving y'all, like, a, um, an example of what I see. I wish I could understand you. So maybe you were just somebody too different for them, Leo. Um, but I just felt like they didn't want to understand you. They wasn't trying to get to know you for real. You know, I can't make a decision. Yeah, because they wanted to explore their options. I knew it. They wasn't trying to really get to know you on a deeper level. They just wanted to, they wanted to have their cake and eat it too. I'm just going to be honest. Because some of y'all, okay, some of y'all really didn't like, it's like they tried to put you like as a, like I say, as a placeholder, just in case things don't go right with the other options, then it can come back to you. But no, you like F out of here. Like, I'm not about to be used by you. And while you sit here and, you know, you just dump me and you just cater to all these other chicks. And, you know, I just feel like a lot of y'all just got tired of feeling that way. You, f you felt outcast. You felt like he was never, your person made you feel like you was never in, like, important to them like you didn't mean anything to them that's the energy i'm picking up on like what you did for them it didn't mean anything that's how they i don't know i just feel like y'all dealing with a selfish little bastard like i'm just gonna be honest with y'all y'all was dealing with that type of person they were just a selfish little bastard <laughs> and they didn't care about your feelings because they only cared about themselves and they only cared about the hos look but there's some drama in the background. Did not say there to see if something happened. But it's also could be seen that they conflicted. So not only they conflicted, but their life is falling apart. And there's nothing that they can do about it. Because I feel like a lot of y'all, they don't even know where you at. They don't even know where you at, Leo. They don't. They haven't heard from you. They haven't seen you. Their life is falling apart. That's that's called karma. And that could be the reason why we have the star card and we have justice right here. Also, you guys were hoping or you maybe you already knew that this person was going to get karma. Some of y'all already have that connection with spirit where you just knew that if you left, oh, they're going to get it. 
they're going to get this karma. Some of y'all literally have that connection with spirit like you automatically know. Because you know the type of effect that you have on people. And you know the type of effect that you have on people's lives, period, when you leave. The star, listen, you made this person's life so much better, Leo. The sun is out. I'm here in peace. The sun is out. I'm gone. Y'all left. Y'all left to the point where they could not use you anymore. Oh, oh, now they missing you. Oh, now they want to know where you at because they haven't heard from you, you know. But it is what it is. I feel like it's over. I'm going to go ahead and end it right here. And y'all take care.